Our second lesson in projectiles and motion will focus on backspin, a very important way of causing a ball to slow down during travel and change direction on impact. Backspin is very useful for slowing down the pace of a game and confusing an opponent by varying the trajectory of the ball. This effect is achieved by applying the force outside the centre of mass of the object, in this case below the centre of mass, causing the ball to spin backwards as it travels forwards. To use the example of tennis, backspin is used to take pace out of the ball and reduce the amount of bounce off the playing surface, making it more difficult for the opponent to return the ball accurately. Whilst the ball is in the air, the backward spin of the ball causes its trajectory to flatten out and float through the air, meaning the ball will remain higher off the floor for longer periods before dropping to the ground at a more vertical descent. The ball's backwards rotation will mean the ball will bounce against its own forward momentum, effectively killing the speed of the ball as it hits the surface. During a normal pull shot, you strike the cue ball through the centre of mass, therefore transferring the momentum in a straight line into the object ball, meaning the object ball will go into the pocket and the cue ball will stay where it is, like so. To put backspin onto the cue ball, you need to strike the ball below the centre of mass, causing it to spin backwards as it travels forwards. This means as it strikes the object ball, the cue ball will continue to spin backwards, meaning it will travel in the opposite direction of the applied force, like so. Yeah, now. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs>